Welcome to How You Cafe. Come in and let's have a chat. Hello, everybody. It's Nikki here. Yoruban. Annyeonghaseyo. Nikki imnida. Like I have promised you two weeks ago, I was going to give you guys some um, phrases that would help you while traveling in Korea. And in last week's uh, last week's How You Cafe. I decided to introduce Dramarama because I really wanted to make sure I get this right and do you guys justice. So for you today, I have 31 phrases or words that will help you while you're traveling in Korea. I will have them come up on the screen so you have enough time to write them down, as well as um, I am going to add the romanization to it. Personally, I do not use romanization because I feel that um, if you know the characters and if you know the um, pronunciation of them, it is way easier to read Hangul and get it right um, because the romanization can be off a little bit or, you know, depending on what um, letter is there and what follows, whether it's a consonant or a vowel, it changes the way you pronounce that one um, letter, symbol, character. Um, but I'm gonna, if you're not studying Korean and you really just need it for travel, romanization is perfectly fine. If romanization helps you, that's good for you too. Personally, like I said, I don't use it, but that shouldn't stop you from using it. So I'm gonna have that up as well. I've grouped these phrases into three categories, which is like general phrases and words, then like more directions and transportation kind of a group. And then at the end, it's more for if you need help or if something happened to you so you can get the help or get to a hospital, which cross your fingers and toes and whatnot. I hope that never happens to you. I hope you'll be just fine traveling. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna put it in just in case. And also if there's words or phrases or you want me to go more in depth into each category, feel free to leave it down below. Like I said, I always read the comments. I, I like it, you know, I've read it. Um, I reply as well. So I'm here for you to help you guys travel safely in Korea or to also travel easier in Korea and have the best time of your life. But even in general, if there's something you want to know, feel free to hit me up. I'll try to help as much as I can. And I also already want to apologize. There's a thunderstorm that just started moving in. So if you hear thunder in the background, I really, really apologize. So you guys ready? Let's get started. The first word that you're going to learn is a very simple one. It's 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Which is hello. Let's do this again together. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. So you can see I don't pronounce the H in there because it kind of becomes silent. So 안녕하세요. The next one is to introduce yourself, which is 저는, insert your name, 입니다. So for me, it would be 저는 니키 입니다. 저는 입니다. Great job. Now we're coming to um, goodbye. There are three cases in a way. Um, the informal one, which is just annyeong, annyeong, but you know, there's, if you know the formal way, that's the best way to do it. So for saying goodbye, there's definitely two main things to think about. Are you the one leaving or are you the one staying and someone else is leaving? If you are the one who is leaving, you pretty much wish the other person to stay well. Please stay well, which then becomes 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. That again is when you are the one leaving. Now, if you are the one staying and let's say your friends are leaving, they will tell you to please leave. You are telling them, I'm sorry. You are telling them to please leave well, which then becomes 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. It's not as hard as people make it to be. You just, it's, I think it's a lot of times for the people, it's um, the hangul that becomes the tricky part. 
Okay, then another easy one is thank you, but I think you'll need that one a lot because it's very polite. And that is, kam sam nida. Kam sam nida. Kam sam nida. The formal way of saying yes is ne. Ne. Then we have no, which is anio. Anio. Then you can also say it's okay, which turns into Gwenchanayo. Gwenchanayo. If someone's telling you something or explaining you something you want to say really or need further, you know, confirmation of it, you say Chinchayo. Chinchayo. Then the next one is. I'm sorry, which has two ways of saying it. The first one is Jisang Amnida. Jisang Amnida. Then the next one would be Mia Namnida. Mia Namnida. This is the way to say sorry. So, this was my first category for you guys. You know how to say hello. You know how to say goodbye. And you know, you know your easy yes, no, it's okay. And of course, the, one of the most important ones, thank you. So let's head into our category two, which is um, directions and transportations. So if you want to ask somebody directions, you don't know where you are, and you want to ask somebody, but you're not super confident in your Korean, or you just know your travel Korean, then you can ask them if they speak English. And that would be Yongho Haseyo. Yongho Haseyo. Yongho Haseyo. Not that hard, right? And then if you are able to speak in Korean, but they just talk a little bit too fast, you say Chonchoni Malsume Juseyo. Chonchoni malsumhe juseyo, which means please talk slower. If you want to say, where am I? Because you're literally lost or you think you're lost, you can say, yogi odieyo. Yogi odieyo. Yogi odieyo. And if you don't understand what they're saying and you want to say, I don't understand, you say, Jal moro get neo. Jal moro get neo. Jal moro get neo. If you want somebody to call a cab for you, a taxi for you, or hail one down the street, you can say, Taxi pulo juseo. Taxi pulo juseo. And then if you're in the cab, in the taxi, and you want to head home, or it's your time to head home, and you want to tell a taxi driver to take you to the airport, you say, Gong hangoro kachu seo. Gong hangoro kachu seo. Gong hangoro kachu seo. But a lot of times they speak English. Or at least they know what airport means. So if you can't, if you're not confident in saying this one, don't worry, they'll know. There are no airports, especially when you're in Seoul. They, they usually know, trust me. If you're traveling and you want to know where the subway station is, because that's a big thing in Korea, the public transportation, you say, Ji ha cho yok o di iso yo. Ji ha cho yok o di iso yo. Ji ha cho yok o di iso yo rather take the bus and you want to know where the bus station is, you say Basu Jong Nyu Jong Odi Isoyo Basu Jong Nyu Jong Odi Isoyo Like I'm saying I'm learning Korean too. My pronunciation is probably not one hundred, but you'll be okay. Trust me, because they rather have you try speaking Korean 
than not try at all. At least that's what many of my Korean friends have told me. So don't worry, don't be embarrassed, just try your best. And they will, they will like it, trust me. Just step out of that comfort zone and embrace the culture, embrace your travel experience and just try it. What, what can go wrong? You have to use English? Well, at least try Korean and see how far you can get with that. That's my opinion on it and I think it just makes for an even better adventure. So this was our travel or transportation interaction group. We're gonna go now into the group when you're at a restaurant or you know when you want to get something to eat and you're like your general phrases of menu, you have an allergy, stuff like that. I wanted to put in that a phrase I have an allergy because we all know that there's so many people out there that have an allergy, but if they can't convey the message that you do have one or what it is, or, you know, at least point to what it is so, so that, that you can then find out whether or not it's in the food that you're ordering, that's not good. So I'm going to also teach you the phrase that you have an allergy. You know, I have an allergy. You'll be able to say that. So let's take a look. So if you go into a restaurant and you want the menu, what do you usually say here? Menu, please. So in Korea, in Korean, that would be menu juseyo. Menu juseyo. Menu juseyo. Not that hard, it's menu, right? <laughs> now, this is the part where I said about the allergy. If you want to say that you have an allergy, you say, Jo allergy isoyo. Jo allergy isoyo. Jo allergy isoyo. I have an allergy. You'll be fine, trust me. Okay, for the next one, I'm. this is a common one. So it says, please give me, or please. And you just add your noun, and then you say, juseyo. So it's blank, juseyo. Insert noun, juseyo. So if you want water, you say, mul juseyo. Mul juseyo. If you would like more side dishes and you want to say, please give me more side dishes, you say, panchando juseyo. Panchando juseyo. Panchando juseyo. If you're done eating and you want to know how much it is, or even if you haven't even started eating but you kind of want to know how much the price is, you can say, Olma aeo. Olma aeo. Olma aeo. If you want to check, you can say, Gisan he juseyo. Gisan he juseyo. Again, you have that main noun and then you say juseyo. Gisane juseyo. If you only have your credit card and you want to see whether or not they take your card, you say kade paduseyo. Kade paduseyo. Kade paduseyo. Kade paduseyo. If you would like to take a receipt because you want to keep all your receipts that you know, everything that you bought, but you want to kind of take it for travel or customs or whatnot, you can say, Yong Su Jong Ju Seo. Yong Su Jong Ju Seo. Yong Su Jong Ju Seo. It's not that hard. It'll just keep, you will just need to repeat them over and over until, you know, you kind of memorize them. But if you do, they're not that hard, especially. If you know how to read Hangul, it's definitely easier for you to be able to read it and memorize it. But also, even with the romanization, you just have to really watch out how it's pronounced. Like, Because sometimes it just it looks like one thing, but it's pronounced differently. So you can always also go back and either just listen and listen, like an audiobook, so you can memorize it, how it's pronounced. Or maybe you're even... 
you are better at reading romanizations than me, and it's easier for you to do that. So we're going to go ahead into our last category for this section, um, and that is needing help wanting to see a doctor. I decided to put it in because when you travel, there's always something that can happen. You can fall or whatnot. Or, God forbid, knock on wood, you get robbed and you need somebody to call the police. I've added all of that, not because I think it's going to happen to you, but because I think it's pretty important to at least know how to say it, just in case. I'm one of those people that needs to have plan A through Z planned out before traveling or anything. I usually have at least three plans of what if I miss my flight? What if I lose this? What do I do then? That's just me. So rather be prepared and know how to say it than to be in a situation where you have no clue how to convey to someone what you're meaning to say, especially if you need help or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the first word or little sentence that would be, would be, please help me. And it is, doa juseo. Doa juseo. Doa juseo. That means, please help me. If you're not feeling well and you need a doctor, and you want to say, I need a doctor, you say, wisa piroheo. Uisa piroheo. Uisa piroheo. That means I need a doctor. If you if you're on the way somewhere and something happens, but you want to know where the hospital is, and you want to ask where is the hospital, you say Pyongwan O D E Soyo. 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 Where's the hospital? If you got to see the doctor and you want to tell him exactly where it hurts, and you want to say it hurts here, you can say yogi ga apayo. Yogi ga apayo. Obviously, while pointing to it, you say yogi ga apayo. Yogi ga apayo. And this is our last phrase for today, which is please call the police. Again, I don't think anything is going to happen to you. I think you're going to be just fine if you're traveling to Korea this summer or whenever you are. But again, it's rather to know how to say it than not to say it. So if you want to tell somebody, please call the police. You say, 경찰에 신고해 주세요. 경찰에 신고해 주세요. 경찰에 Chingohe chuseo. Gyongchari chingohe chuseo. Again, please or please give me is chuseo. And you could see in our last little section there that chuseo was in a lot of them incorporated. So just keep that in mind. You know, please give me, you know, your blank and then chuseo. If you know the word, the noun. Juseo. Korean isn't that hard. It really isn't. But it is hard, but it's also not hard. Once you get your basics down, it's really easy to continue on and just add and add. Korean is just one of those languages that you have to practice every day. Because if you miss one of your practices or one of your study sessions, it's really easy to fall back. Trust me, I've been there where I didn't have the chance to do it for two days and I kind of had to go further back than I wanted to to continue studying. Does that make sense? Like I had to go back and remember and refresh my mind of what was going on to continue on with my lesson. So now I'm trying to make an effort to every day do some Korean so I'm not getting like rusty in it. So with these, take, you know, write them down, keep practicing it, walk through the house and just kind of constantly saying them and they will stick in your in your head, in your brain, and you'll be just fine traveling. Like I said, if you guys want me to maybe expand on, on some of these and give you more like for, for the restaurant, if you want more while you're in the restaurant, 
you know, how to order, stuff like that, feel free to leave it down below. Comment. I will look at it. I'll make a list of your suggestions and start working on some of them. You know, the, I want to, the language ones will take me a little time because I want to do them right. And I want to really give you the things that you will need the most or that will benefit you guys the most. But like I've said, I've always read the comments. I like them, so which means I've read it. So yes, I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it will help you in some way. Again, I hope you were able to write them down. Romanization is there for you, but also the Hangul and what it means in English. And I hope you have an awesome, awesome rest of the week. I will see you guys on Sunday for K-pop Coffee Talk. Don't forget to watch my previous videos. Don't forget to check out down below in the description box all my social media on my SNS and follow me like I keep you guys updated throughout the week. Love you guys. Sarangye. Bye bye. Anya. <laughs>